Stephen, do you feel like you've just beaten the country's form team? Yeah, for sure. Uh, Tottenham are having a, a fantastic season. Uh, they've got world-class players uh, and they pass the ball well. And they're having a good time, so you know, it goes to show how well we've done today by getting the three points. Um, we had to dig in and show a lot of character, but we got there in the end. Um, big moment, obviously, was the, um, the Liverpool's equaliser at 2-2. You know, it was a bit of a gift, um, but it got you right back in at a time when they were playing really well. Yeah, I think at this level, if you make mistakes, you get punished. It's happened to us many a times this season. Um, Thankfully, uh, it was the opposition that made the mistake today and uh, credit to Stuart Downing, who's in great form. He capitalised on it, showed great composure and um, he put it away nice. Uh, that gave us the impetus to go and win the game. When you when you look from this position you played today, a little bit deeper lying, you look forward and you see Coutinho, you see Suarez, you see Sturridge, you see Downing, who's flying at the moment. You know, you've got some great players in front of you there. Yeah, of course. I mean, um, when you when your squad's a little bit players like that, sometimes you'd have to sacrifice yourself at times and play that little bit deeper for the team. Um, if that means the other players go and excite the crowd and uh, assist goals and score goals, um, I'm quite happy to watch that. And obviously today, part of that job, along with Lucas involved, keeping an eye on Gareth Bale. How difficult is that? Oh, it's an impossible task. Um, you know, he's he's he's. he's in top form, um, probably one of the best players in, in the world uh, on current form. Um, but luckily enough, we've got a player who's equally as good as him in Luis Suarez. And um, I think Luis may just pip him to play of the year, in my opinion. He's been incredible. It's hard to put into words how good he's been. What a finish today. I mean, that just summed him up, really. Yeah, of course, he's been doing that for us all season. Um, you know, before the last deadline, you know, we never got that centre forward in. He's almost carried this team on his own. He, at times, he was the only forward we had, and I think he's top scorer in the league now. So um, he's been incredible, honestly. I can't put, put into words how good he's been. Um, you know, if, if he doesn't win an award this year, um, he'd be the best player ever not to win an award. And, and just a final word, if you would, about Jamie Carragher. 500 league games. I mean, can you believe that that might be, might be the last big milestone in his career? You know, the, the number of games he's got left are, are dwindling all the time. Yeah, for me personally, it's a sad and emotional time to, to see Jamie announce his retirement. You know, I'm closer than him than anyone. Um, I've been there through a lot of his games and to see him hang the boots up, it's a sad time for, for myself and also the club as well. Um, but he knows, you know, he got to respect his decision. He feels as if it's time, but um, he'll be impossible to replace. He, uh, he's been that good and that consistent for this club over the years.